Hi everybody and welcome back to Total OS Today. Merry Christmas on this Christmas night here in the United States from my household. For those of you who do not celebrate uh, Christmas, allow me to say Happy Holidays to you and your family. Well, I am returning back to Planet Zorin to take a look at another Zorin OS operating system. This will be the Zorin uh, OS 5.2, the educational version, as you see here to the bottom left of my desktop. This is the ISO. I just downloaded it, and I will be testing this off uh, live, off the live ISO, inside a virtual box. So let's get started. Okay, this is the default desktop for Zorin OS 5.2 educational. Now, I will not be doing a full review of Zorn. I've done uh, more comprehensive reviews of Zorn OS in the past, and I will have some uh, links below in the show notes when I am done with this. But for this, since this is focusing on educational, um, focusing on the educational aspect of the operating system, uh, I will just highlight a couple of those pieces of software. But this is the default desktop and it is made on purpose uh, to resemble Windows 7. Really, Zorin is the premier Linux operating system for new users, for Windows users wanting to migrate over to Linux or to run it as a dual boot alongside Windows 7. It is a very stable, easy to use. I've had no very few issues with any kind of Zorin that I have downloaded. Uh, it's easy to use, and if you are running Windows 7, this is the one to go with. All right, let's get started. As you do Windows 7, you can right-click, and you have a choice of options here. To the bottom, you have the panel bar, or the uh, similar to the Windows 7 super bar, and right-clicking this will give you some options also. Bottom right, you have the, uh, <clears throat> pardon me, to the bottom right, you have the uh, power button, the chat accounts, of course, the, uh, the time, calendar, email accounts, uh, volume, and of course my internet connection. All right, to the left here, the shortcut for Banshee, the file manager. Let's click that, that there and take a quick look, and you can change how this looks. Again, similar to Windows 7. Very easy on the eyes. Okay, we have, uh, let's see, Google Chrome installed by default. Now Zorin allows you right off the right off the bat to choose which search engine you like from Google to Yahoo to Bing. And of course the uh, the start bar or not the bar but the start button the Z orb which is the GNO menu similar to the Windows start button. Let me click that. And again this is made to look like the uh, shortcuts similar to Windows 7. Of course the icons here you have computer the home, the trash, and if I want to install Zorin OS, double click that and follow the instructions. Let's go back to the start button. All right, you have browse internet, email, accessories, education, games, graphics, internet, office, science, sound and video, system tools, wine, software, places, system, and of course the bottom is the search bar. And you have more shortcuts here to the right, the home folder, documents, pictures, music, videos, search, recent items, computer, network, connect to, control center, and help. You know, the one thing I noticed that was not installed or not set up by default with Windows 7 is the video shortcut. You have to go into the start menu to get to that. It's not, uh, it's not really highlighted on the start menu shortcut and I'm not really sure why it seemed a bit counterintuitive for those of you who run Windows 7 I will show you how to add that menu shortcut in a future video but to Zorin's credit they have included it and it's very nice very nice shortcut to have because look we all use you know we all like to use shortcuts probably the three most used ones I would imagine will be either documents pictures or music. Okay, since this is the educational version of Zorn, let's take a look at the educational suite of software here. We have Blinken, Celestia, Educational Suite, uh, GCompress, GCompress Administration, GeoGebra, Canagram, KBrunch, KHangman, KIG, KTouch, KTurtle, KWordQuiz, Marble, Parlay, Step, 
Tux Math and Tux Paint. Well, let's see. To be quite honest, I'm not really f familiar with the educational uh, suite of the software in Zorin, so let me just highlight one that sounds uh, fancy educational suite G Compress, and uh, we'll see what we have. All right, as you can see, some kind of children's music was playing. Very nice. Going to the left, highlighting the shortcuts, it says discover the computer, play with computer peripherals, go to discovery, color, sounds, memory, puzzles, amusement, mathematics, A, B, C, the reading activities, experimental activities, strategy games. All right, let's take a look and see what we have. Let's choose one. Oh, let's try puzzles. And you have assemble, tangram puzzle, build the same model, the Tower of Hanoi. Interesting. Reproduce the Tower of Hanoi, the right side, because there's two versions of it. Simplify the tower. Sliding block, block puzzle game. Super brain photo hunter. Hmm. Sudoku. 15 game. Lights off. Okay, I'm not familiar with all of these. Once again, this is also new to me also, but this appears that it would not be easy to figure out. All right, let's go quit and let's try something else. Are you sure you want to quit? Yes, I'm sure. Click the start button again. All right, we tried education. Let's go back. Let's see here at the bottom, go back. Let's try science. Calcium, oregano, stellarium, <laughs> oregano. I need some oregano for my pasta. Interesting choice of title. I'm, I don't know what that is. Let me click it and see what we got. And oregano is an activity that I still don't know what it, what it is. All right. Schematic capture. Schematic capture and circuit simulation. Oh, that's what it is. Okay, cool. If you're into that, I am not. <laughs> but it's there under oregano. All right, let's click it again. And the go to science. I got a feeling I know what stellarium is. And as you see here, study of the stars. Cool. All right, let me get out of this. All right, let's take a look at one more. Oh, let's see. Education, GeoGebra, Dynamic Mathematics for Everyone. And we have, looks like geometry. Perpendicular, polygon, circle center to the point, ellipse, angle, and so on and so forth. Very nice. Okay, well that's my quick look at Zorin OS 5.2, the educational version. If you have kids, you might want to check this out. Again, if you are a Windows user, definitely check this out or any Zorin OS operating system. You should feel at home on how to use it, but keep in mind, Zorn is Linux, our Linux-based operating system, and it is definitely, definitely not Windows. It can either replace your Windows 7, maybe, or it can complement your Windows 7. Myself, I enjoy dual booting both uh, Linux-based operating systems, such as Zorn and Windows 7. All right, that's it for my look at Zorn 5.2. Educational. I will now be leaving planet Zorin and returning to my humble household. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and like if you find these videos informative and entertaining. And as always, I will catch you guys sometime in the future.